Is it possible to recover from sex addiction? Is it possible for you who has been battling with sex addiction for years or decades to actually break that spell, free yourself from the horrific grips of sex addiction and experience a life thriving as a healthy individual? And the answer is absolutely yes. But there's one thing that you need to do to start the process of eradicating sex addiction out of your life. And what is that one thing? Self-awareness. Self-awareness is key to come to understand not only yourself, but understand how the addiction works in your life. The process of addiction. There are four steps in the process of addiction that occur. And this cycle, if you will, these four steps continue to repeat themselves day after day, week, month, year after year. And you may not even be aware of it. And we're going to talk about that cycle, those four steps here today. And I think it's going to help you when it comes to your awareness. I want you to break free from your sex addiction and experience the freedom that I have. And I have the design of living today that works marvelously. I was taught this design. I was coached this design. I had a spiritual mentor who guided me to fulfill the life that I deserved. And that's my mission for you, to break free from your sex addiction and live the life you deserve, a life where you're a happy, thriving individual. And if you can relate to any of this, hit the thumbs up below and subscribe to my channel. Every Tuesday, I'll have another video for you to help you eradicate sex addiction out of your life. So let's talk about the four steps or the cycle of addiction in your life. The first one is preoccupation. The second one is obsession. The third one is compulsion. And the fourth step in this cycle is desperation or despair. I call these the four sisters of insanity. And this cycle continues on and on and on in your life, and you may not even be aware of it. And it's very important for you to be aware of this cycle because then you'll understand what's going on. And so preoccupation is just thinking about it because everything that happens in your life starts with a thought. Nothing will happen unless you think about it and think about it and think about it. If you have a thought and you continuously think about it, what do you think ultimately is going to happen? Ultimately, you're going to act on that thought. And that's one of the very, very first lessons I want you to get out of the preoccupation stage or step in the cycle of addiction. Preoccupation means you're just preoccupied with thoughts. Hmm. Maybe I'll go home after work and watch a little porn, or maybe I'll stop at the sex club on my way home tonight from my friend's house. Or maybe I'll just uh, go on Grinder and see if there's a, a guy to hang out with for tonight. See, it all just starts with a thought. Preoccupation kind of gets you out of yourself. Get, you don't have to deal with life. You don't have to deal with any stressors or anxiety or your bills. You don't have to deal with loneliness. You don't have to deal with anything because you're preoccupied with thinking about what you think is going to make you feel better. So that preoccupation stage in the cycle of addiction uh, is something definitely to be aware of because later on, as you progress and recover out of a lifestyle of sex addiction, the preoccupation stage is very important because you're going to come to learn that you may not be able to control your first thought. You may not be responsible for your first thought, but you are responsible with what you do with that thought. And when you're in the preoccupation stage, you're likely to think about acting out sexually and then continue to think about acting out sexually and then think about acting out sexually and that leads to the second stage or the second step which is obsession see now what happens is you've gone from preoccupation occupied with it to obsessing about it now you're actually getting fidgety you can't wait to get home and go right on the computer you get a very anxious feeling until you're able to satisfy the need you believe that you have now to act out sexually. You can't wait to get to the sex club. You can't wait to get on Grindr. You can't wait to get home and be all alone in your room and put the computer on. So the obsession phase becomes a very draining phase. It's tiring. You can't think about anything else. You won't answer the phone when your mom calls you. You won't answer the phone when your dad calls you. You will cancel dinner plans with your friends nothing else matters because you have become so obsessed with what you want to do sexually whatever that is for you your sexual behavioral addiction is what now you are obsessed about and it's almost as if nothing can get it out of your head it's to the point now where there's almost no return from what you are determined to do once you're obsessing you're determined you are now committed to act on 
what you were initially thinking about when you were preoccupied with those thoughts. Now you're obsessed. Now the third stage in the cycle, the third step is compulsion. Now you go and act on that initial thought. The compulsion means once you start, you can't stop. One porn isn't going to do it for you, neither is 10 minutes. Five minutes on Grindr is not going to do it for you, neither is two hours. An hour and a half at the sex club is not going to do it for you. You're going to be there five hours. You're probably going to do some poppers. It, it's, it's as if one is too many and a thousand is not enough when you're in the compulsion step or stage. At this point, you are engrossed and trapped in the sexual addiction of your choice. And it's very hard to break out of that. Sometimes a major interruption in life will do it. Your friends come over, your family comes home, you're getting numerous phone calls, your friends are waiting for you. Something has to kind of snap you out of that compulsion stage. Very difficult to get out of that. Once you're in it, there is no time. 10 minutes, three hours can go by in what feels like 10 minutes. Did you ever get involved in your sexual behavior of choice and it felt like 20 minutes and it was two and a half hours? Like where did time go? You started at 5 p.m. and now it's 9.30, the sun's down and people are going to sleep. You missed dinner. You were so compulsive with your behaviors. You couldn't turn the computer off. That's the compulsion. And when you're in there, it's very, very hard to get out. But when you do get out, when you do finally break out of the compulsion stage, you get into what's called despair. You become very desperate. This is where you feel regret and shame, perhaps guilt, very lonely, dirty, um, so filled with self-loathing, hopeless. You feel like you're a piece of crap. No one would want you or love you if they knew what you just did for the last six hours. You have such a low self-image of yourself that you have a hard time even looking in the mirror and like who, who you see. You may take a shower and brush your teeth and clean everything up because you want to feel a little more clean, but deep down inside you, you feel dirty and shameful and hopeless. And that's a very sad place to be. But there's one way out when it comes to addiction. You return to the beginning of the steps, the beginning of the addiction cycle. Where is that? Preoccupation. You return right back to preoccupation and the whole cycle continues all over again. You become preoccupied with what you want to do. It becomes an obsession. You act on it. becomes compulsion. And then once you break out of that compulsive behavior, whether it's hours, days, whatever it may be for you, then you're in despair. And that's where you feel hopeless. And then it happens again. You start thinking about it again. Did you ever stop a behavior, clean everything up, whatever that is, promise yourself you'll never do it again, and 15 minutes later, you're doing it again? Did you ever have that happen? I mean, you can't even honor your own self-promises. How do you have a positive self-image and a positive self-confidence if you can't even trust your own self-promises? How can you feel good emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually, if you are not a man of integrity and dignity? You can't even keep your own word. You don't trust yourself. You see how sex addiction and the cycle of addiction destroys your self-confidence, your self-esteem, your self-image. And that ripples out into all other areas of life. That self-destruction, that negative inner dialogue, that self-hatred, the self-loathing ripples out. And if you remain in this cycle of addiction, you continue these four steps throughout your life wrapped in the horrific grip of sex addiction, it only will get worse. It will only progress. It will destroy your life. Maybe you'll be able to hide it for a long time and put on a mask of happiness, but you're really a lonely, desperate, sad person who feels hopeless. And it is time for that to end. So I want you to, again, be self-aware. Have awareness of what the addiction cycle is. Because with awareness, with a conscious awareness of your addiction and its cycle, it's going to give you, in time, a little more power.
it's going to give you a little bit more oomph, if you will, to eradicate sex addiction out of your life. Self-awareness is the ability to focus on yourself and how your actions, thoughts, or emotions do or don't align with your internal standards. I like that one for self-awareness. When you become self-aware of the addiction, you're able to see how it doesn't align itself with who you really are deep on the insides, your morals and your intentions and your values. So I want you to continue being aware. I know that breaking the cycle of sex addiction out of your life is daunting, challenging, perhaps on some level you feel hopeless. But as you improve or increase your awareness of yourself and the addiction, it's going to in time give you a little more power to eradicate this horrific addiction out of your life. If you liked any of this information I gave you right now, I would love if you could throw a comment below to me of what you liked in this video. If you had an aha moment or something that gave you a thought you never had before, please throw me a comment. I love to read the comments and I will certainly reply to your comments. Throw me a thumbs up if you liked this video as well. And again, uh, as I stated earlier, I put a new video on here every Tuesday and I would love if you subscribe to my channel and then you'll get a notification on the video I posted. Let's eradicate the sex addiction out of your life together. You can do it. I believe in you. Just keep moving forward. And if you're a little hopeless, I understand I was there. Just pay attention to the videos I'm posting here. I am a survivor of sex addiction, and I know the horrific hopelessness of it. And I also now know that there is a way out, and you can have a beautiful life. Um, see you in the next video. Hope you have a great evening, and God bless.